People talk a lot these days about the death of the high street. And yeah, I would mourn the high street if it died. But it seems to me that it would be easier to recreate, to reboot than the sudden surprise of side streets like this. Towns like these, with places like this, nestled within them, seem to embody, seem to contain ways of life, aspects of my life, that are fading, dying out. It would be nice if they could be held in stasis, buried in time capsules in school playing fields, sent spinning silently off to space in probes, to be reactivated years from now, like clones reconstituted from single pieces of DNA. It will happen, Randy, but it will be in our minds. It will. San Junipero style. It will. Any time, any place. When you're not wrong, Harris, you're not wrong. I'm not wrong. indelibly daubed on my consciousness is the silhouette of this west front the Priory Church in Lempster it's a huge looming edifice massively impressive crenellations and ball flower and some wonderful carved friezes atop the capitals on the west doorway never mind the toppling heights within but it's the asymmetricality of it that somehow etches it so indelibly in, whether from Socon like this, or from further looming over the buildings in the town. Even though it puts me in mind of other churches, also made somehow more exhilarating by the lack of that balancing other tower, Dunstable, for instance. It's that hobbled silhouette that somehow gives it its characteristic charm. to be used in England. Jenny Pipes was the incumbent in 1809. Whether for scolding or selling adulterated goods, it is not recorded. Strange how the morals of a nation have moved and melded outside those priory windows. Just like those policemen getting younger. 1809 now seems much nearer in time than he did when I first came here. I 
bet the Grange Court, handsome edifice that it is, didn't think back in 1853 when it was moved because apparently it was causing traffic obstructions from its site in the middle of town to its present site, sold at auction for 95,000 I think, I bet it didn't think that it would still be here today. It's been the council offices since 1938 and I bet it never thought that it would be housing PowerPoint presentations or powwows. Buildings can't think, I don't think, and I think that's probably a good thing. Too many thinks in that sentence, but never mind. What I also am not sure about is whether it's a good thing that buildings can or can't be moved with greater ease. I was thinking earlier about the pump rooms in Tenbury Wells looking like a building transplanted from somewhere else, which it actually isn't, whereas this looks like it's always been here, doesn't it? Um, and what if we could? What if we could rejig our towns? What if we had the money, the wherewithal, to uh, uproot and re-erect the great edifices? Part of the charm of somewhere like Lemster is the purity of its street plan, the fact that it doesn't make sense in the modern sense of the word, that it has higgledy-piggledy shuts and alleyways, but also the temptation to right some of the wrongs that have been done in the last century or so would be huge. I really don't know. You say buildings can't think, but really we don't know enough about the nature of consciousness, do we? I thought you were going to pipe up with something. Yeah, like you know, this, yeah, it's that idea of that, that unmoved remover or that, 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 that pure awareness at the centre of sort of tantric yoga and we, 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 can't, we can't say any of What's that. What's the unmoved yeah, yeah. remover? We don't know that all these buildings aren't screaming out to, um, to move. I know quite a few. <laughs> There's whole streets in the black country that want to move. Well, that's, that, <laughs> that's what I was kind of getting at earlier. There are, there are bits that would be running off really if they could, aren't there? So just thinking a little bit more about that, um, the idea of buildings that have moved would actually make a good book. So I think it's more yeah. common than, than you think. Yeah, I've heard, I have heard um, of a few instances of it. Uh, bridges obviously being moved, you know, to the States from Britain. Yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, the Black Country Museum wouldn't exist without no, of course. Without moved buildings. It's practically, it's not quite a town, but it's certainly yeah. a village in the town, right, consisting entirely of moved buildings. Yeah, nor Avoncroft, um, as we mentioned so, earlier, yeah. So, you know, the, these things are perfectly possible. It's, it's just money, I suppose, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But actually, if you go to Egypt, if you go um, to sort of the southern part of Egypt, around uh, Lake Aswan, where they've dammed up the Nile, they had yeah. to move... Um, the Temple of Abu Simbel, okay. which is f those four massive oh, yeah. statues of Ramses yeah, into, the, into, yeah. the, um, uh, into a rock face, I, think yeah. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. And also you've got the Temple of Philae, which is the Greek style temple, built slightly later than yeah. that. It's completely moved and put onto a different island yeah. um, so it's just in cash. the middle of Lake Aswan. Yeah. Um, so uh, UNESCO did that, so yeah, it's a question of, it's all perfectly possible. I mean, literally point at any building, I think. Yeah. Technically, I think it can be moved, but it is it's just, just very expensive. Yeah, um, it is just cash, and it's, it's a bit of, where, where would it end? Right, okay, I'm going to put you on the spot in all seriousness. Okay. If you could move one building, what would it be, and where would you move it to? So, I think um, the horse has already bolted on this one, but um, although I don't disagree with this building having been removed, um, I think it's a real shame that they knocked down Birmingham's Brutalist Library yes. recently. I don't disagree with them doing that, but I think actually it would have been very good if they could have moved that. To cohabit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because it was distinctive. I mean, yeah. it didn't look like it could house very much with, with great purpose, but uh, right. it was a very dark building. But uh, Did its job in its day. I wrote all of my great essays for university in there. It was, uh, yeah, it would have been nice if it well, could have know. coexisted, yeah. like silent film and talkies at the same time. Mm. Yeah, right. But those South Bank buildings and the Barbican and so on, they're, they're, they're very celebrated. Yeah. But uh, Birmingham's at it again, Yeah. recycling no, you're right. the streets. And again, I don't disagree with, with, with them having moved it. I think it's probably improved no. the city centre, but it's uh, shame. But overall, yeah, I would agree, good call.
also what you pay your parking for in a town like Leominster or Ledbury, not too far down the road. Jetted upper stories, hands holding across the street. The charm of toppling crooked perspective.